This is Shenzhen's largest and main blood donation center. People can come here, stretch out their arm, and donate potentially life-saving blood. The donated blood would then be transported by vehicle, negotiating crowded streets. But now, drones are enabling timely delivery to hospitals across the city. Starting in 2023, the city has opened 11 air routes with drone blood donation transportation to 11 hospitals. Our 12th route is set to open soon. Drones are fast, have a short flight time and can avoid ground traffic. This type of transportation combines blood emergency response characteristics and other clinical needs. Hospitals sometimes don't know when blood will suddenly be needed, so this solves that problem. The entire system is operated on 5G, and the intelligent platform is connected to and accessible by all medical institutions taking part in the program. Climate-controlled storage carriages, flying altitude, and safety are all carefully fine-tuned. So why Shenzhen? And when will other cities catch up with the ever-expanding low-altitude economy? So Shenzhen has the largest number of drone companies in the world, possibly accounting for 70 to 80 percent of the world's total exports. Local legislation promotes the low-altitude economy here, and we hope to have even more than 11 routes in the future. We want to expand our emergency network in the air. I'm quite optimistic about the future prospects, especially in the medical sector. Earlier in March, a person involved in a car accident urgently needed a transfusion of AB blood type. The hospital received that blood in 15 minutes, transported via drone. For Shenzhen, the capability has been attained, and the next step will be rolling it out on an even greater scale.